Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review the hatchet wielding hitchhiker. And this is a new Netflix true crime documentary from director Colette Camden, and this focuses on Kai, who became a big viral social media star after he stopped some kind of hate crime by swinging a hatchet at a guy. And this is a very challenging documentary in terms of a lot of different things. And it's only an hour and 25 minutes. The first 45, even 50 minutes or so of this film really focuses on his rise to stardom. You see him on Kimmel and his ridiculous behavior. And I feel like a lot of this film is a reflection upon our society and how we take people out of obscurity, throw them up into social media and make them this big thing. And the damages of that, what that could possibly do to people. And that the film is extremely interesting in that way. And how it portrays those kinds of ideas. And what it looks at putting a mirror back on us. And that's where this film really excels. And then it gets into the spiral of Kai and what came after. And his backstory. And that's when this film feels like they spend so much time, all the rest of that, really building up an interesting case. And then when it comes to his backstory, when it comes to what he winds up doing after all this, it truncates it, it rushes it, it leaves out a lot of details, it lets certain things go to complete this spiral arc. It kind of takes a, it takes this like a saucier and more film friendly approach of like, oh my God, and then his descent into madness. This is this monster he was all this time without thinking about a lot of digging deeper into the circumstances that led him to be this way, the environmental issues of his life, like the way he's treated by his mother, which they leave a lot of details out. What he winds up doing to someone towards the end of the story, leaving out tons of evidence and really just painting him as, my God, we were completely charmed by this man and... He is an absolute monster, and I feel like this documentary should have been longer, should have dug deeper, should have painted a wider picture, which would have been more truthful and honestly more interesting, so I don't get why you would take away all those layers, but it just made it feel like they tried to fit Kai's story into an easy rise and fall. And there you go, if you have that arc in an hour and 25 minutes, enjoy. And I think that's problematic. This still is an extremely interesting story and documentary focusing on this man with so much charisma. And the first two-thirds of this with the ideas that it puts forward about our society and social media and how we put people up on this pedestal and put them in this fishbowl, that is where this film really goes and excels. And then it tries to fit the rest of his story into this story and rushes it, doesn't do enough justice to the depth and the complexity of the situation, and winds up undoing a lot of justice that it does for this young man. And in the end, this is still a really entertaining documentary, but his problematic nature makes it a lot less of a quality documentary and more of just a manipulative kind of thrill ride of a true crime documentary to sit back and just enjoy a crazy story. But those are my thoughts on the um, hatchet-wielding hitchhiker. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.